Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia but you can call me Crafty Owl and it is time for me to debut the September 2023 sheet load of cards. This month is extra special in a couple ways so I hope you'll stick around to find out why, see my first set, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel or new to Sheetload of Cards, this is a free printable I provide for my subscribers each month where I give you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your cards and yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards depending on the paper size, the layout, etc. On the first of the month today, I will be debuting the new printable and telling you how you can download it if you're a subscriber to my channel. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be back to show you how I made my first set and my team of collaborators will be joining me here on YouTube and over on Instagram with their takes on this month's printable. So make sure if you haven't already subscribed to everyone or follow them on Instagram to do that so you're ready for tomorrow. They are all linked in that description box below. Some of you might already know one of the two things that makes this month special. Last month I shared a short where I went shopping for the paper I'm going to use today and I let you know this is the 50th, yes, 5-0-50th sheet load I have shared here on YouTube. So make sure that if you haven't been subscribed for a long time that you check out the full sheet load playlist which has all of the debut and all of the process videos linked in the description box below so you can go back and catch up. Not only is it a milestone number for sheet load but it's also special in another way. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at this month's printable. And here is a look at the September 2023 sheet load of cards. Now at first glance it looks pretty normal, but if you look closely here, we are doing a special size this month. Many of you have requested it in the past and I thought since it was such a special milestone for sheet load and with the holidays upcoming, maybe you like to make larger cards, this month we're going to be making 5 by 7 cards. So if you're excited for this size, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. I know when I did my poll last year what other sizes you would like to see, this was definitely the most requested. Now, if you're not into 5x7 cards, I still hope that you'll give this month a try. I know that sometimes when I step outside of my box, which I love to stay in and I'm so comfortable there, I do end up enjoying it. Now, if you like the layout but you're not necessarily into 5x7 cards, I understand that. But guess what? In the future, I'm going to be using this same idea and scaling it down for A2 cards. So you'll still get a chance to use this layout. As always, Sheetload is a two-page PDF printable. The first page is a sketch and supply list, and the second page is the cutting guides. So on the first page, this is going to take a little bit more cardstock than normal because of that larger size card. But we probably all have a lot of cardstock laying around, so I'm hoping that you'll get some of that out and put it to use. For my first set, I did use a colored cardstock card base, but if you would rather use up your white cardstock stash, which I know for me at least, it's a lot larger, definitely do that, and you could just use a colored cardstock for the matting. You will need for this month two 12 by 12 pattern papers and 18 pieces, yeah, 18 pieces of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. 12 of those will be for the card base. You'll also need five for your matting pieces and one more for your sentiments. But again, sometimes for these sentiments, you can switch it up and use scraps. 
Now you will notice that mine is a semicircle here. It's a three inch circle cut in half. So for each circle you cut out, you are going to get two sentiment pieces. Now in tomorrow's process video, I'll give you some ideas of what to do if you don't own circle dies. So no worries, make sure to still give this sheet load a try. With that pattern paper and cardstock, you're gonna get 12 five by seven cards this month. So although it uses a bit of cardstock, you also yield a sheet load of cards. Now, as always, if you want to try out the sketch, but you don't necessarily want to make 12, I have the dimensions of each of the single pieces here for you to give a try, and also some alternatives on how you can switch up the card. Before we take a look at page two, I do want to give a special shout out to my channel members. As it states here on the printable, your support keeps me creating here on YouTube and sheet load of cards free for all subscribers. Now, if you're not yet a member and you want to find out more about the perks, I do have a link in the description box below. And speaking of channel members, let's take a minute to recognize a few of them. In August, I had some channel members earn their two-year membership badge, so I would like to take a minute to recognize them. An extra special thank you goes out to Deborah Earhart, Pat May, Shannon C, Beth Casalini, Jose Melendez, Carol Reed Sanquinetti, and Rachel Fancy Schofield. Thank you so much for your continued support. Now let's take a look at page two of the printable and this is the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each of your 12 by 12 pattern papers, which both get cut the same exact way, and then how to cut all of your card stocks. So again, tomorrow in the video, I'll show you how to do that. Before we take a look at my first set, let's take a look at the products I used. While I was at Busy Scrappin', which is my local scrap and stamp store here in Omaha, I looked at different themes of paper. Fall, Halloween, Christmas, just because other stuff, but I decided to go with the fall themed since that's the season coming up, and let's be honest, I'm ready for some cooler temps, so I'm ready for fall. For my pattern papers, I chose these two pieces from Cartabella's Fall Fun. I love the leaves on this one and then the dark plaid to go with it. And this is actually the front and back of the same sheet. For my sentiment, I used the brand new Pretty Pumpkin stamp set from Not Too Shabby. I thought this Hello Fall here went nicely with the pattern papers since there were some leaves on that. For my sentiment circles, I got out my Tailored Expressions Stitch Circle Stacklets, and this is the second from the largest, and it is pretty much three inches exactly. But again, tomorrow, I'll tell you other ideas if you don't own dies like this. For my sentiment to bring out some of the green in the pattern paper, I chose Tailored Expressions Cilantro Ink. And for my card stocks, I decided to go with a craft for my card base. For my matting, I got out a burgundy. It matches that in the plaid paper. And for my sentiments, a white. As I share my process tomorrow, I will tell you about other tools and products I used. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at my first set. I hope you enjoyed that little close-up look at this month's set of cards. I have to say I wasn't quite sure about the 5x7s, but I did end up enjoying creating them. And now we'll all have more space to write our personal messages on the inside. 
you might have noticed as I was showing you, I did decorate the inside of my cards just to help that personal message stand out. And this actually ended up being a no pattern paper scraps card because I used them here to decorate the inside. Also to bring in the leaves and the acorns from the front pattern paper, I did a little stamping down here in the corner. Also to add a little shine, I added some Elizabeth Craft Designs glitter dots. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable if you're a subscriber of my channel. If you're ready to get started on your own 5x7 sheet load of cards, as always I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel before you click on the download link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute. I don't make you send me any proof or sign up for anything, just please make sure before you download the file that you have already clicked on that subscribe button below. You're going to find the link to this month's PDF down in the description box right underneath my product or supplies list. Below that it will say to watch the video for the password, but you watching this far is your password. If you want to print it out, I would suggest downloading it to your device and then printing it, but you can also view it on screen and use it like that. If you're excited to get started on a new sheet load of cards, a thumbs up on this video is appreciated. And until tomorrow, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.